So you probably clicked on this video because you know who Honda and Ark is and you've been wondering when will we next see him in Star Wars? Well today I'm going to answer that question and we'll tell you five out of the ten upcoming Star Wars shows that I think who will appear in. Not movies, shows, so don't be saying, oh you missed Road Squadron, even though he's probably not going to appear in that, but like, he might, you never know. But yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today, so if you could hit the subscribe button, we're aiming for 75 at the end of this month. We're almost there, I won't bore you with all that stuff, because that's not what we do on this channel. Yeah, we're going to get straight into the video, but we won't bother telling you any background information on Hondo, because you probably know who he is, but basically he's a weak way pirate, appears in Clone Wars and Rebels, and also Galaxy's Edge the theme park in Orlando, I think. Is that Orlando? I don't know, I don't live there. I live in the UK, if you're wondering. But... Yep, so five shows out of the ten upcoming shows. So the first one I think you'll appear in, this is no particular order by the way, is Star Wars The Bad Batch, which is the most recent entry on this list, as it was recently revealed that it will be coming out on May 4th this year, 2021. And also, I think something else exciting is that, as well as being an animation, it's a sequel to The Clone Wars, which was the predecessor for this show, and also was the show that Hondo first appeared in. So, this show already seems to be bringing back classic staples of the Clone Wars. You can see things like places like Seleucami and Onderon in the trailer. You can also see a Zygerian trailer from another arc in the Clone Wars. So, classic staples are reappearing. So, Hondo is a classic staple, right? Hondo is obviously a classic staple of the Clone Wars. And yeah. So I think Bad Batch makes sense, especially because everyone seems to be forgetting that it says in the trailer they're going to become mercenaries at some point. So why on earth wouldn't Hondo be in this? He's a scumbag and I really want this show to have loads of cool characters like Embo and all that. Like just go all in with the bounty hunters and the scumbags and pirates and whatnot. But yeah, so the next show on this list is Rangers of the New Republic. Which honestly, at first I wasn't too hyped for it, and I still I'm not. I don't really care too much ish. See, when I first saw it, I thought it was called Rangers of the Old Republic. That's literally how much I was not looking at this show. Like I was not paying attention at all. But like, if you think about it, Hondo would make sense to appear in this show because it's about the New Republic. Now Hondo is not exactly a villain, so he wouldn't be the villain of the show. But he is the sort of unlikely. Um, what do you call it, unlikely hero, like he sort of probably team up with the heroes in some sort of mission or adventure, he knows all kinds of secret hyperspace lanes and weird stuff like that, he can probably help some heroes of the show out on some wacky adventures, just do stuff like that, I could imagine Hondo would um, not be a main-ish character, but be a main enough character, I also quite think that Hondo would be the sort of character that would appear like um, because I've always thought that, like, this show will have lots of Rebels characters. I don't know, but, like, it, I think it makes sense. I'm going to do a separate video on this, but characters like Hera, it just makes sense to see if she comes out. But it was just a separate video talking about characters, a bit like what I did with the Bad Batch, if you haven't seen that video. 100 plus characters that will appear in the Bad Batch. Probably do something similar for Ranger of the New Republic. And um, all the other shows coming up. But, yeah, so Ranger of the New Republic, I definitely think Hondo could appear in that. Next up on this list, I got Book of Boba Fett. So, Book of Boba Fett is the most recent addition to the Mandalorian galaxy. It's obviously about Book of Boba, sorry, obviously about Boba Fett, and it was announced in the post credit scene for the Mandalorian to solve any confusion. If, because I know a lot of people for some reason don't understand this, it's a separate show. It's not Mandalorian season three. Has nothing to do with that. Like, of course, it has something to do with it, but like, it's not Mandalorian season three. Did at this point, anything is possible, but we're talking about Hondo, not Din Djarin. So, Hondo could appear in the show, and people probably forget this, but in season two, there were some episodes about um Boba and Aura Singh going for revenge on um Mace Windu for killing Django, and Hondo knew Aura Singh f through Django, and Hondo also like. Hondo knew who Boba and Aura Singh and Django, like, he knew the little circle, like, he was part of the group of friends, like, he, like, he knows those people, so he might appear in it, and I think he'd really sort of be a background character to this show, I, I could see him, like, being, like, someone says, like, oh, I know a guy, and then they send Boba to Hondo or something, because I think one of the many ways that, um, this show could go is, like, resurrecting, like, making, like, peace, like, trying to respect Django, or the other way it could go is building the empire, and Hondo could, like the criminal empire, Hondo could help with both of those. And the third way this show could go is flashbacks, 
and he could probably appear in this, but honestly, I don't really care about for that, like, honestly, new stories, not old stories, so, like, yeah, I think Hondo could definitely appear in this show, I'm appearing, it's possible to see a Hondo appear, it could, um, sort of cross over to the range of New Republic, if he appears in that show, and some of the other Mandalorian shows, I think Hondo would probably, out of all the shows, I would most likely appear in this show, and I'd most want him to appear in this show, but there's definitely other shows in that Mandalorian spin-off, um, era that he could appear in like it's sort of an era that like it's like one of their favorite eras to work with like the revenge of the jedi i mean return of the jedi and um force awakens but that that time gap and the revenge of the sith new hope time gap it's like disney's lucasfilm's two favorite areas to work with like all the cool stuff happens in those times not including the clone also so the next show is lando and you're probably kind of surprised because lando and hondo never cross paths but even though people seem to think Lando's kind of, like, top quality, he's a bit of a scumbag, like, let's not pretend he doesn't, like, cheat and gambling and do, like, sketchy stuff and, like, steals people's ships and stuff, like, he's not exactly a very nice guy, like, he is, but, like, you know what I mean, he's not really, like, very, someone who's gonna, like, treat you well, so, he's a sort of character that Hondo could come across, I'm gonna try and do a video, like, 10 characters that could appear in Lando, some sort of video on Lando soon, because, no one's talking about Lando, so why not talk about it? Like, no one's talking about the show, so I thought I might as well make chance of this open space because I can guarantee you, like, a week before this show comes out, everyone will be trying to get videos out on this thing. But I'm being way ahead of you guys, even though it's not coming out until like next year or the year after. I honestly don't know when this is being released. But yeah, so he could appear in Lando because they could cross paths. It would make sense to me. I think it's a really good idea for him to appear in Lando. I know you guys probably think, oh, that's so stupid, why would he appear in Lando, but it just makes sense, like, why wouldn't he, give me a good reason why he wouldn't, like, we know this is set in that era that I was talking about, the Revenge of the Sith and New Hope gap, time gap era, and Hondo is around in that era, and I think something I'd like to be explained in Bad Patch is how he lost his entire pirate crew, like, because you see him in Clone Wars, he has this massive crew of pirates, He's like the top guy then in Rebels he's sort of on his own. And Lando we can continue after we last see him in Rebels. So it's sort of giving Honda a full circle. And then it trans- spir- transcripts over into the Mandalorian universe set after Return of the Jedi. So then Hondo has like a free flowing story through all the shows. And it just makes sense seeing that they're trying to make this connected universe. And I definitely think he could appear in Kenobi but I didn't ap- pick, put this on the list. Just because, I don't know, I feel like Kenobi's kind of too serious for Hondo to appear in. I don't mean to be like, like, Kenobi sort of feels like that show, like, it's, it's mega fan service. They don't want to try anything risky, like chucking Hondo in. Especially because a lot of people that are going to be watching these shows won't know who Hondo is. Like, he's from the animations. And lots of people don't watch animations because they think they're for kids. Because they're just like, why wouldn't you? So I suggest if you haven't seen Clone Wars and watch that, then Rebels can be your second priority. It's decent-ish. Um, it's alright, but there's just pointless episodes, like some episode where they go shopping for fruit. I always use that as an example, it's a bad episode, because no one cares that they need to buy some fancy fruit for someone's birthday or something. It's some ridiculous storyline like that. Whereas Clone Wars is just good stuff, so stick to the simple stuff. But yeah, Lando, definitely Hondo could appear in this show. Like, I'd say, um, there's like, probably like a 65% chance he could appear in that. So the last entry on this list is the Ahsoka show. So, this is another one you're probably surprised that I'm putting this on the list. You're probably like, what? No, no, that's impossible. No, it's not. Because I can explain. So, basically, Hondo is sort of like... Him and Ahsoka aren't exactly friends, but when they last see each other, they sort of leave each other on good terms. And somehow, their paths manage not to cross in Rebels. It's kind of weird that they, their paths kind of go over and under each other, if you get what I mean. Kind of like Wolfie and Ahsoka in Rebels. Like they sort of skip each other. Wolfie... Ahsoka and, um, what's it, Hondo and Ahsoka, like, they, their paths cross briefly, like, they don't meet, but in season two, they come, like, close to meeting, like, it's, it's kind of like the, it was done deliberately, it's just weird, but I think Hondo's the sort of character that they would need, especially because I think, um, Re- Ahsoka will reunite all the Rebels c- crew and the Ghost crew, but not those annoying characters like Zeb, because no one wants his back, I think it will just maybe bring back Hera, but most likely just Ezra, Sabine, and that's probably it, and probably, like, someone like Hondo and Rex, like, just some odds and ends, chuck them in, 
it will make a good show. Hondo will probably only be in one episode, which I think is satisfactory for me. I wouldn't want him in anything more. But yeah, so be sure to subscribe and smash the like button if you want me to do another one of these videos so like this, but with a different character. And please say so below and tell me what character you'd like to see. I'm open to ideas. I really enjoy doing videos like this where I just get to talk and nothing like... These are just fun videos to make, and I really enjoy talking about Star Wars. So, it would mean the world to me if you could subscribe. We are so close to 75. We're trying to hit that by the end of March. We're, I'm really just smashing it on YouTube right now, so positivity all around, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.